just got this engine, it was locked up a lot like this one, and now as you can see it runs perfectly. So follow us along in this video where we show you how to rebuild the Honda GX engine. Thanks Go Power Sports for watching this build and sending us these t-shirts, as you can see there. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of our build. So when we first got this engine and realized it was locked up, we took it apart and the first thing we noticed is that on the inside of this crankshaft, it's got all these little notches all over it. It's supposed to be perfectly smooth. Here's the new crankshaft that we got. You can see how smooth that is. Also, on the inside of the uh, piston rod, it's got a bunch of notches in it as well. And what happened was this engine was run without oil. And because it was running without oil, it heated up. And this aluminum in here melted and started scratching up, scratched up in here. So, we got all new gaskets for the inside. We cleaned up the engine. We got a new crankshaft, a new piston, new piston head. And uh, we're going to be putting it together today. Oh, right, that's in there. It's got a counterweight notch. The other one also. They both line up. No, what do you mean no? Apparently these matter, but they don't matter. They look exactly Apparently, they're different though when you order them. Yeah. Those go in there. No, no, those are later. Um, so. Okay. That sounds nice. Yeah. So, after installing the crankshaft, what you need to notice is that there's little beads on the inside of these. You need to line those up when you're installing the counterweight, as well as when you're installing the uh, valve here. This will line up every uh, few turns right there. Locking rings. And these are kind of a pain. And you just slide just like that. Just split. <laughs> oh, perfect. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Did that hurt your hand? No, I was okay. just excited. You don't have it upside down, do you? We have it upside down. Definitely start off putting the head in first so you can make sure that you're putting it in the right direction. So that doesn't interfere. The other way it actually going interferes in. with that. Yeah. So make sure the arrow or the dot is going up. I'd say that's high enough. <laughs> Good. I did those two, do those two, can I do these two? And you broke it. I mean, you gotta put this on there, you are. I did, I had it! It was moving off, and then you hit it. Oh, we. You got me rough sometimes, Logan. <laughs> and there we go again. Come on, you work on this. How many times, I built, I've rebuilt an engine once here. Now it's twice. And we didn't replace any of the seals. You broke one? Alright, now this, lining this up. 
me. Oh. Nice. It hurts with one finger. It hurts with point zero. Let's, let's do. So. Yeah, that's gonna take so much to do. Looky there! Yeah! Water in there? What? Alright, I'm gonna give a high and low here. Get some close. Alright, You don't trust us? No, I don't. Wow. Alright. You're missing you, it. You worked on it and I saw all the. So this goes up here. <laughs> okay, where, where's the grounding one? Okay, we need to make sure that it doesn't touch the Okay. Wait. Uh, we need to turn the gas on. What about Choke back. Oh, no, no that, that's what this oh, goes okay. to. That goes to that, so that's how it grounds it out. Okay. Alright, All right, let's, so let's try it. Closing. Which way are we going? I think that's, that's the other one. Alright. Go for it. I'm gonna, we're gonna lose here, bro. Can you push down? Oh man, it's holding this on. Is that oil? No. No. <laughs> Caps over here. Destroyed the engine before it even starts. Yeah, it could No, it never started, so. Alright. Ready to try this again? This is hard to do. Let me just do it. Put it on the Ready? Oh, man. So after messing around with the engine a little bit, we realized our mistake. For one, the valve timing was completely wrong. I had set it to 0 .015 inches and it's supposed to be 0.15 millimeters. So the valve timing is way off. And secondly, we didn't even have an exhaust on here and when you're running an engine, you're supposed to have exhaust to uh, have some back pressure to it. So after putting the exhaust on, we're doing the valve timing, now it runs perfectly. So stay tuned for the rest of From Scrap to Go Kart Build. Next week is building custom suspension on a shallow frame. Thanks again to Go Power Sports for sponsoring this series.